Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Welcome to the next episode of the Java game development tutorial for platform 2D tutorial series things in Java. Um, and I'm going to keep going from where I left off. And I'm going to do height divided by 2. And with that, I'm going to do minus. Uh, I'm going to do char character, not character, character width. No, height divided by two. So this basically gets the character to the middle, uh, and we're if we're basically drawing him out, I need some. I need actually need a boolean. Object defined equals true. So we can check if if these things are loaded, so that we don't get any null pointer exceptions, because I got a lot of experiences with that. Um, Boolean, Boolean uh, object defined. And if you guys don't understand something, well, then just leave me a comment. And it's going to be false by default. And if I do if objects defined, if I'm typing objects defined, you might think, well, it doesn't have any meaning because you have to type like two equal signs and then true or false. But with booleans, you can just do objects defined, and will automatically go to to true. Uh, if you put this little little um, little exclamation mark here in front of it, uh, it will just uh, be false instead. So that's a cool little trick that I learned from something. Don't remember what, but I definitely know it. So. I'm actually going to do g dot set color, and with the color set, we can actually just set a color. So I'm going to set it as black. No, as white. <laughs> white. Um, because the black is like the entire screen is black. Come on, Alex. That's that. That would be bad. You, you wouldn't see the character. I, I, I was first thinking like the, the screen was white, but that's not how it is. So I'm going to do g g dot dot fill not full dot fill not drunk either fill wrecked and I'm gonna do character character dot X character dot Y character character dot width character dot height so there we go we basically got it if you run this this is what should happen this thing should appear on the screen now that seems a little bit too large so I'm pretty sure something is wrong yeah it is because we didn't set the size we we just <laughs> walked straight on uh, so we're gonna have to do character width, character height, it was just me being a fool again, no I'm not a fool, I... yeah there we go, that's the size of the character, we should maybe adjust that a little, I think we can run it in debug mode actually, which is awesome, good and awesome, um, so if I do, um, let's say, 20 for here, 24, we should do 36 here, and if I save this, what should happen is this updates. No, it didn't update. That's bad. Um, but in case, yeah, there we go. We've, we've got the correct size of the character. Uh, but in case this didn't, this this doesn't work. That this defined objects uh, updates before the paint components. What you want to do is type in repaint right here which is pretty much repainting the screen and goes to the paint component method again and just calls it new, newly and that's probably in the center, yes it is uh, that's perfect because that's that means we we succeeded now there is something I'm probably gonna have a little bit of problems with but I I think it's it's okay but we're gonna do implement runnable because we're going to start moving this character around on the screen uh, which I like uh, but first of all we're going to add some gravity and gravity is awesome 
good and awesome. Um, so add um, unimplemented methods, and by that we can do that. And now we want to do a boolean or boolean, boolean, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we want to do public boolean falling equals false. And we're also going to do public int fps equals 1000. And that's not the real fps. It's more like an fps setter, um, which I'm, I really like. And do public int, um, int falling speed equals 1, probably. Like 1. Um, yeah, I'll show you in a second. Uh, maybe... Let's go for 10 just to be sure that everything works in the beginning. Uh, but the FPS is basically for like setting setting an FPS so that the frame rate, um, so, th so that we're not having like frame rate issues and no lag and stuff like that. So the first thing I w I'd like to do is do the FPS setter. And what the base FPS setter basically is is a, a method, a method created by me, um, and with the FPS set, we can we should basically set the FPS. So, what we want to do, actually, at first, we would like to start the thread. So, we would like to do public thread. Um, call it game or something like that. Game, game, gay, game, gay, game, something like that. Uh, game equals new thread. Uh, new thread, and we're just going to do this, because that's basically creating a thread out of this class, and this class is implemented by runnable, so it will basically, the thread will be created by the run. What the thread basically is, is something that goes on like forever, uh, and we'll, we're also going to need public boolean running for the game is running or just run I like to call it running equals true and basically while running equals true or just running uh, we want to do this so this will basically just go go on forever and forever and if you're unfamiliar with this uh, I, you should check out my uh, my Java 3D tutorial series, and I'll explain some more about this. Uh, but this, this is basically just like uh, a loop, an infinite loop. So if we would type in system out dot print ln here, hello, what would happen is this will just give us a lot of hellos if we're starting the thread first. <laughs> of course, starting the thread. So type in game dot start. And the thread will start. So now you, you're just seeing a lot of hellos down there uh, until we terminate it. So basically now, what we can do with this is uh, we actually need an FPS setter. Um, uh, but actually, let me show you first. Uh, if we do every time this happens, we want to do character dot y plus equals 1. Uh, and what happens then is just like, boom, and we can't see the character anymore. But if we're doing the FPS setter, and we're doing a a try, we're doing catch exception e, well, what happens then is that we can actually undo e dot print sec tra trace because what that basically means in the catch is if if it finds an error with this it will just type the error for us or print out the errors errors for us. Um, so in the try we would like to type thread no game dot sleep actually sleep and we want it to sleep one millisecond actually. 1,000, or actually FPS divided by 1,000.
And we also, at the end here, what we need to do is to type, after all, repaint. Because repaint is basically still repainting the screen. And as you can see, the character was falling with a great speed. I uh, would like to drag this up to at least 20, uh, maybe 50 actually. I thought it wouldn't go that fast. We can mess around with the these things a little. Oh god, I'm such an idiot. Uh, what we need to do is is um, basically I'll I'll tell you in a second. But first of all, we need to create another one called public and falling falling frame equals zero. And I will show you about that in a second. Uh, we're also going to create another rectangle. Public rectangle floor and the floor 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 equals new rectangle and it's basically going to be at AA now it's going to be at 0 minus 10 actually that's more safe. An AA width. And I also want to have uh, the floor public int floor height equals uh, 30 or so. And we would like to do AA dot height minus floor height. And we would also like to do AA dot width plus 10 and floor height. So if we're going down here and we're drawing it out, G dot fill rect, uh, we would like to do floor dot x. I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy, of course. Doing that. Um, what should happen if ever everything's correct is it's drawing it out, which it doesn't at the bottom. Oh, uh, so we got to take this like 80 or so, I suppose. Yep, there we go. We've got it. So the coding was a little bit strange, but definitely works. We've got a floor um, and now what I'd like to do is to check for the collision. So you want to do a for loop. No we don't. We need to create um, one create point pt1 equals new point and the point is basically just like a point on the screen just a little small small point uh, somewhere on the screen it's a little point somewhere um, but basically we're this point is going to be we have another point point pt2 equals new point and this is basically telling the game where the character is and the first one is going to be character dot x and character dot uh, y plus character da character dot height and the second one is gonna be character dot x plus character character da width and that basically gives us the perfect points for the character and I'm actually running out of time here um, um, and I'll be back soon with more of these tutorials because they are really really fun to do uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and rate and comment all that good stuff as many people on YouTube says and all of that good stuff yeah that's of course um, so yeah that's everything goodbye